Yo, what is up guys? Doogie DC here. Welcome to another video. I'm super pumped to be out here on this glorious spring day. We are over here at Lamoto, Washington in Arlington, Virginia. They are the premier Piaggio group dealer. So today I will be on this beautiful uh, Vespa 946 product red, which just look at this little teaser gorgeous everywhere uh, and of course this video is brought to you by Rollick. Rollick is a company connecting consumers like you and me to a network of certified dealers like Lamoto Washington uh, to find the most transparent pricing and the best buying experience when it comes to motorcycles, ATVs, side-by-sides, RVs. If it's fun, Rollick has you covered. That first link in the description below. Oh man. What an exciting day. I am literally working right now. This is this is Duke of DC in the office. It's a dangerous thing. So, all right guys, we've got a 2018 Vespa 946 product red here. Uh, this is a bike that they only made in 2018. Well, that's the end of the Duke of DC as he rolls away on a scooter. Okay, so we got the right brake is the front, left is the rear. We're totally not gonna die. Oh, bro, uncool, bro, uncool. <laughs> oh, this is in KPH. Oh my gosh. Okay, I bet you there's a mode to change it, but we're just not gonna bother. All right, guys, we are on the 2018 Vespa 946 Product Red Edition. This is such a beautiful scooter, exceptionally so, which is something I shamefully don't know a lot about. It's so funny, I'm like dressed to ride a motorcycle. I've got all my motorcycle gear on. And I'm on this Vespa. I could have an open face helmet. I could be wearing a suit with velour. This is really quite a beautiful scooter. And I, I know it's not a motorcycle, so any of you out there who are my like diehard motorcycle fans, I apologize that I'm not on one right now. But you know, scooters make up such a huge amount of two wheeled riding uh, in the world. The United States is probably one of the few places where scooters have not completely taken over. All of these Vespas are not only made from steel framing, but all the paneling is steel. So this is like a this is like a serious scooter. Okay, so one issue I'm having right off the bat, the turn signal is a it's not a click in to, to turn it off, you have to center it, which is actually very challenging to do when you're worried about riding. Yeah. As you can see, I'm not shifting at all. This is a single driver. It's not single drive, it's, it's an automatic. Uh, so there is a transmission, automatic transmission in there that's shifting through the gears for me. This left clutch looking thing is actually the rear brake. So uh, at first it's kind of hard to remember that so that when you come to a stop, you know, normally you'll want to depress the clutch completely because uh, you're going to stay in first gear and be like in an active mode in this. It's hard to remember that that's the rear brake, so I'm not like, you know, I can't just grab it. Wow, I used to work in this area. Oh, have the turntables turned. You know, this scooter would be so fun for city commuting. It really does have everything you need to get around. Um, let's get past here. Don't hit me. Where's my horn? <laughs> Look at that view. If you guys aren't from the DC area, I am stepping into Georgetown. Georgetown is like uh, kind of a hoity-toity part of DC, a lot of shopping, overpriced everything, macaroons, coffee. It is a very pretty place though, so. Oh gosh, oh Jesus, oh golly geez. <laughs> so the suspension is good, but uh, it's obviously not an off-road mobile, so this is a, DC road network is not looking too hot recently. Oh, see, this is a perfect situation. If I was a car, I'd have to go into the other lane. Because I'm a scooter, what's up? Hey, oh, I'm enjoying this way too much. <laughs> Being in a car in DC is one of the least fun experiences you'll ever have. Being on this, very, very fun. V fun. Okay, so the only thing I'm kind of confused about is I'm pretty sure it only has 
a rear stand. Crazy if that's true. Okay, there's tons of tourists around here, so I may have picked the worst place to sit back and like talk about this thing. But what a beautiful scooter. Oh, sorry. This is very much a European scooter. It is basically straight out of Italy. It's absolutely gorgeous. I, I quite enjoy it. I kind of feel goofy riding it in all my motorcycle gear, though. What a picturesque scene right there. You know, they're very peppy. I've never felt underpowered. I felt more underpowered on the um, Z125 Pro than I did on this. This is really, really nice. It's so nice that I wouldn't even want to put anything on it. Back onto the adventure. Hmm. If I could say something here, I'd say that this is an interesting predicament. Please don't hit me. I'm going in the bicycle lane because I feel like that. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. You know what I'm going to do? Like genuine, actually? And that's what makes a scooter in the city worth its weight in literal gold. I would have sat there for probably like 10 minutes on anything else. Ditch the bird scooter, man. Get a real scooter. Bro, scoot, scoot. Scoot, scoot, mofo. Scoot, scoot. I'm out of here. Oh, man. There's not a lot objectively that I can say about the Vespa. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do probably better than most, right? And that comes at a price. You know, these Vespas are expensive. I'll put the exact number across the screen right now because I don't want to give you guys false information but um, you know you can go out and find something like a Z125 which isn't a scooter it's more of a motorcycle or uh, or in kind of a more direct comparison you can get a, another kind of Piaggio or Prilia 50cc scooter for significantly less than this but it's not gonna be the same in fact I'll know if it'll be the same in just a moment <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, that was beautiful. What was that like an S13, S15? We're going over the bridge. Full speed. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm hunching for no reason. Those are KPHs, guys. Don't get super excited. Sorry, dude. Staring at me. Flipping turn signal switches killing me. Ah, uh, yes, a motorcycle. How juvenile. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm heading back to Lamoto, Washington. Uh, I really cannot thank them enough. If you are looking for a Vespa or anything in the Piaggio group, that's Aprilia, uh, Moto Guzzi's, please check them out. They'll be linked in the description down below. And, of course, thank you to my sponsors, Rolic, for, uh, well, continuing to sponsor me and letting me come out on all of these amazing motorcycles, scooters, uh, soon to come ATV side-by-sides. If you're looking for a Vespa and you're not from the DC area, check out the first link in that description down there and see if you can't find one local to you because that's what we're trying to do. We are trying to connect consumers to dealerships and just bridge that gap, make it a great experience for everyone involved. And as always, if you are new, hit that subscribe button, like this video if you enjoyed it, comment down below, and I will see you next time.